On this week's episode of Whitetail Cribs, we're stopping in western Pennsylvania to visit with Casey Pistorius. Casey is an electrician by trade, and when he's not working, you can find him doing something related to deer hunting. Get ready to check out a lot of Pennsylvania bucks and hear the stories behind them. If you guys enjoy the episode, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you want to have a chance to win a Whitetail Cribs t-shirt, comment below on who we should record with next. Hey guys, what's up? Come on in. My name's Casey. I live in Western Pennsylvania. Let's head to the basement. Check out what you guys came to see. So I work as an electrician. Um, actually a maintenance supervisor at a local mill here uh, in Newcastle. And I run Hunt Addicts on YouTube. Um, I got into hunting, you know, my f living in Western Pennsylvania, that's just what people do around here. Uh, my whole family are hunters. Um, I remember they didn't have the mentored youth program back in the day. So I just remember my uncles, cousins, everybody couldn't wait till they got home the first day of rifle season, everything. Um, to see what they got. I had to wait till I was 12 years old and um, got a doe my first year. When I was 13, I started archery hunting and this is where it all began for me in archery season. Shot this five point, was so excited. I actually shot it at Brett's farm and uh, was super excited. It was my first bow buck and I never shot a small buck since because I shot this, was tickled pink, but first day of rifle season, watched probably 130 inch eight point go right by us in rifle season. And uh, I couldn't shoot it cause I was tagged out. So this is my first archery buck. That's really where it began for me, but haven't shot a small one since. This here is probably one of the most specialist deer to me because it's my daughter's. Um, she shot this when she was 10 years old uh, with a rifle opening day in 2017. Um, we were sitting in a stand. I had a two-man ladder stand set up for her, and she was whining. She was cold, wanted to go home. I told her just stick it out for a little bit longer. About 10 o'clock, the neighbors got down. They were walking up. I seen the, this buck here and a smaller buck, a little basket rack eight, was coming in. And I was trying to film her. I had the camera arm between us. That didn't work. Um, she was only 10 at the time. Helped her try to get it in the scope. She finally got it in the scope for it. Left. It came out, stopped on logging road. She shot it. Um, it ran off. She said, I got it, dad. I got it. I wasn't even sure if she got it, but this, this buck's tail was tucked and the other ones were straight up. So I should have knew right from there that she did get it, at least hit it. We went up probably a hundred yards. It was laying there. So like I said, that's probably one of the more special deer I have here. It's, I love getting deer, but having your kid get their first buck, just something you're so passionate about. Um, like I said, that's probably going to, be one of my most memorable deer that I have so far. And she shot a doe this past Saturday. She's still hunting and uh, she's still waiting for a buck. We got a, another week in rifle season here in PA. So hopefully she can get another one for the wall. Um, this here is one of my archery bucks I shot in 2010. Um, it's an 11 point, it has a split G2. We had show camera pictures of it before it broke the G3, just a few days before I shot it. but. I shot this at my buddy Richie's farm, and if you're watching this, Richard, I haven't got an invite back since I shot this, so, you know, just let me know if I can come back and hunt again. <laughs> he actually, he really wanted to shoot this buck, and just so happened that I was on the right side of the farm that night and, and got it. It was October 21st, whenever, you know, the bucks are starting to really leave their bedding areas, work scrapes, kind of cruising to see if there's any does coming into heat and whatnot, so... Shot that one over there, and like I said, I haven't gotten an invite back to hunt. So this guy right here, I actually, this is my first out-of-state deer. I shot this in Missouri hunting with uh, Twisted Oak Hunts. Bill's an awesome dude. I was out there hunting with my buddy Mike and them guys and uh, didn't see any really good bucks. His brother shot a good buck on the farm we were on. So he actually took me and put me on another farm. On the very last night, I ended up shooting this guy that came in. 
Biggest deer I ever shot. Neck was huge, and it filled just at 206 pounds. Nothing like you're going to see really here in Pennsylvania. Just an absolute hog of a deer. So this guy here, I shot in 2018. Um, this one's actually on our Hunt Addicts YouTube page. I was archery hunting. It was early October. I've had really good luck in Pennsylvania in the early October seasons. Uh, this one was shot October 18th. When the bucks are just starting to get out of their bedding area before they really feel any pressure, hitting scrapes and stuff like that, had this guy on trail camera several nights, and every night that he was hitting a scrape, he was coming in earlier and earlier and earlier. We checked the camera, gave it about two days. I went in there on a Thursday, and I ended up killing that buck. It's really cool because over the years back there on this same farm, for years we've shot in big eight points like this. They have big eye guards. They have the bladed G2s on each side, and they have bladed uh, main beams. So that's super cool just to see the genetic lines over the years that my family's killed back there. I'm going to turn it over to Brett. Um, these are some of his deer that he brought over to show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to him. Hey, my name's Brett. I'm co-host of the Hunt Addict Show on YouTube. I work for a cable company. I do service and installs for them. Um, but on this, like when I'm not working, it's pretty much hunting all the time scouting whatever um i got into hunting really early my family like most people around here in western pa um everyone hunts but my stepdad is actually the one that got me into archery um, my like my dad my granddad and everyone they always rifle hunted but he really got me into archery and that kind of the love with the bow just stuck with me so i got a couple buck here this one here is on our hunt addicts channel i got this in 2016 i believe my buddy was hunting the spot where I shot this Halloween night, and uh, he told me, he's like, there's a big one in there. So we hunted it a few times after that and saw him, but I sealed the deal on him the second week of November at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. He was just out trailing, or out scent checking, looking for doe. So he, uh, like I said, he's on our channel. We'll go over here. I got this buck here which was a rifle buck, but it was a cool one because my granddad was with me on this one, and he doesn't really get out much to hunt or anything anymore. So it was real cool, you know, one of his last years out. So we got that one, nice heavy horned. And then this buck here, this is another rifle one. I shot him, I think I was a junior in high school. Um, I was out with my dad, and guys just drove the area out where he was and it was last day of rifle season about you know 4 30 so right before dark and we decided to go sit for that last hour and we got lucky and he popped out so a lot of people saw him in the area before that i didn't have any trail camera pictures of him or anything so we kind of locked into this one this buck here was like my first decent archery buck i shot him towards the end of high school i believe yeah he was nothing crazy with him just good buck that uh I, I got mounted because it was my first good one with the bow so and we'll move this one here um this was 2015 this is the first one that i really scouted all summer like we got pictures of him just sprouting you know and watched him grow um and i shot him the second week of the season in 2015 it was 80 degrees i think i remember walking to the stand in a cutoff and he, you know, did exactly what I thought he'd do from all the trail camera pictures we got of him. So, and he was on, I think, the first year at my house, or my new house. So it was kind of cool to get one on my own property. And this is the only buck I think I've shot that hasn't been on our family farm. This one's kind of goofy. The mount looks like he's chewing. But on all the trail camera pictures, his nostril is torn. So I don't know... There are no teeth or anything in his mouth. I don't really know how he was surviving, but it's uh, pretty cool. And my taxidermist did a pretty good job to kind of recreate what he what he looked like. So, and then we'll go over here. And then I got this buck here. I think 2013 archery season, which I should have got him mounted. I'll eventually get a cape and do him. But just a cool buck, super heavy. I actually shot over this buck at like 20 yards. I was so nervous. Um, I shot over him, and the arrow hit the ground, and he turned and was looking at my knock glowing, and he sniffed that, 
and he knew something was up, so he turned, and he ended up coming about five yards from my stand. I almost shot him right directly underneath me. So it was, it definitely had my heart pounding on this one. So just been pretty fortunate to get a few decent buck off the family farm over the years. And um, like Casey said, we got another week or so left in rifle season here. So hopefully we can add to it. Well guys, thanks for coming to see all of our mounts. But you can't stay here, so there's the door.